It's been a minute since I actually uploaded a video. I want to do it real quick. So, my car is cleaned. Kind of. Not really. But better than usual. <sighs> Alright guys, we are at 27,000 miles. And I bought it, I think it was at around like 19,000 miles. So... Not too bad. I don't really drive too, too much. I've had it for, what is it now? We're, we're in, what month are we in? October. I got this car back in December. Back in December. Um, and we're heading on to December. So it's almost about to be a year close to it. So dang, time, by, time flies so fast. This will be the first time I'm gonna use my car um, off mode, not off mode, off road mode. And let me just close my garage real quick. I got this car right, and it still has the previous owner's address on it. I don't know how to take that off. It doesn't necessarily bother me, but it's like, how do I change that? But that's the last thing I worry about. So I like this. You got the little mirror thing. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna go pick up something and it's gonna be a little rocky. I bought some new products and you know, I just be buying stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I just buy stuff to just try things. Hints like the side door accessories and um, yeah, floor mats and door dash cam and I bought some more stuff. But anyways, this product here is a no rinse wash product. And I tried it on this car. And it works. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, as I'm as I was doing this, I recorded the whole entire process, but I don't know where the memory went. So I'm going to have to I don't want to redo it because I feel like it's damaging the car itself like the paint the tires like it's questionable very questionable although the car comes out really clean the tire is like the plastic on the tire no not plastic with the rubber on the tire is like lifting i gotta show y'all a picture i gotta show it when i you know get done here but you know, I just be trying stuff. I tried it on my mom's car and everything was fine. You know, I didn't really pay attention to it until I went and did it a second time. And that's when I was like, oh, okay. I don't need to be using this product. I don't know if it caused it or what, but I'm probably stay away from it. I still have quite a bit of it left. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. I decided to buy a non-rinse car wash product. I went to the Porsche dealership just to see the value of this current vehicle. Of course, they're saying don't drive it as much, but I'm like, I bought, I mean, it's a car. It's meant to be driven. I'm not going to park it in the garage and like not drive it. I don't see the point in that. You got a car, you might as well drive and buy it. I mean, like you bought it drive it this is not like you know i'm gonna try to mount y'all up see if i can do this i should have did this earlier but let's see they probably look at me like i'm crazy but guess what i don't care but um what was i gonna say i only i only probably got like four minutes left but yeah i went to the porsche dealership i actually went live and what ended up happening was I wanted to know the value of the car and what they told me was we'll give you I think it was 66 or 67,000 for this vehicle but it's at 27,000 miles and they said that after it hits the first um, 30,000 it needs to do its you know it's you know maintenance so I was like okay cool what happens if I go over 30,000 miles will y'all still offer me the same amount 
obviously not. I just, you know, was asking questions, but they're like, no, for every thousand that goes over, shaves off a certain amount of money each time. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. So the main reason why I went to the Porsche dealership was not only to figure out the value of this car, but it was to figure out if I wanted to go electric. I know some of y'all, some of y'all probably gonna be like, why would you go electric? Well, my theory and my thinking process behind this is that, guys, I don't drive that much, like at all. I live in Houston and I work from home I love this car. It's like I'm I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the car. I'm not going electric. But I was just saying, give me a second. Hello. Hello. Who's on? I'm trying to talk real fast my camera about to die. <sighs> but yeah. Went to the Porsche dealership. They were really nice. I wish I would have bought my Porsche from them because they actually told me everything I needed to know within that you know when they're selling you of course they're just gonna they're gonna charge you whatever especially like the upsells like you know the window chip if the if a rock hits the you know you know what I'm trying to say the dad the, the the window if it gets chipped they'll replace it you know but that itself costs but it doesn't cost that much and they were trying to tell me yeah that's only a few hundred bucks to be honest I was like well shoot and I also got the rim protection because there's so many potholes here in Houston and like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, you might hit a curb here and there and I did, you know, I revealed it. I, I backed up, I scraped the curb, but they fixed it. So I got that luckily and it was no charge, but he was the, the guy that was telling me about it. He was like, yeah, that's really not that much. How much they charge you? We went through the numbers and basically I got bamboozled. Is it is what it is, you know? But I'm still happy with the car, I'm not gonna lie. This car is great, perfect size for me. Oh my goodness, almost touched that tree. It's the perfect size for me. If you're gonna go, you gotta go. Okay, I'll go then. But yeah, so, he, we basically sat down, we talked electric, Tycon is what I was looking at, but really my dream, dream, dream Porsche is the Dakar. That Dakar is me all the way at, mm, in due time. But anyways, back on track. The Tycon is electric, and what would have ended up happening is I was going to go more towards the lease route. But you know what? Again, got to re, you know, say it again. I'm keeping this car. Okay? I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm happy with it. Nothing's wrong with it. It gets me to point A to point B. I don't drive as much, which is why I'm at 27. So I really only, really by the end of the year, I would have put, I'm a, I'm gonna say around maybe 9,000 miles. I think that's the average, you know. But I really don't go anywhere as much. So I'm gonna probably turn the camera back on when. You know, well, I want to say something real quick, and you know, I might get chewed up in the comments for this, but I notice a lot of people on the weekends, I don't know if this is just in Texas or what, but everybody just wants to bring out their nice, nice spanking cars on the weekends. Now, I don't know if that's because they want lower mileage and they only want to, you know, want to drive it on the weekends, or like, why not drive it as often as possible if you paid for it? Or are you or is your goal to sell it? You know, there's a difference. You know. Wow, these houses are so nice. But yeah, we're gonna take this thing on to off-road. We're gonna see how it does. Okay, I'm I did it one time, but it, I wasn't on any like gravel or pavement or like, you know, wonky situation. I was actually in water that was really high and thankfully I was able to get out of it with that off-road button because it lifts it up a little bit more I'm not sure of the metrics or the um, the details so with that being said we're gonna go do this real quick I feel like I've updated y'all oh by the way you know for those that know I don't hide nothing you know I'm, I'm it's just at the end of the day this is just a car 
and regardless of if you think I can afford it or not is you know it's not my problem okay y'all so I think my camera is probably gonna come come to the end of dying so I'm gonna just record as much as possible okay and uh, go from there because it's starting to get real hot up in this car because I opened up the sunroof of course it's, but regardless um dang, I'm all over the place with this video one minute I'm talking about a product I'm not trying to sell this product I I I don't want to say nothing wrong I'm what I'm basically saying maybe I didn't use it right maybe it's not designed for like really no rinse because it works like it takes the the dirt and the grime off without me having to like really try that hard but maybe it's like way too concentrated or something because I wasn't gonna add this in there but when I sprayed it on my tires and the next day I had no air in my tires like my air pressure dropped tremendously I don't know if it has anything to do with the product or not but I'm just saying I had to go put air in my tires it was pretty low out of nowhere well I know where but it happened when I put that on it. and plus the product was so I'm in off mode my actual camera died so I'm in off-road right now and I'm probably gonna get the clip from my dash cam when I'm actually going in this bumpy thing but so far it I felt it lift and it feels pretty good I'm not gonna speed or nothing but it feels pretty decent we're driving this but look I don't know if you can hear it watch it's like it takes a minute for the gears to kind of shift so I'm about to go ahead and turn in to I don't want to drive too too fast I don't want to drive too too slow let's see all right okay it handles it pretty well okay okay I'm not gonna lie this area right here is not as bad as it used to be because they're actually building storage units over here but I don't know what they're really doing right here Hey. Actually, let me show y'all how high up I actually am so y'all can get an idea. Okay. Better here. As you can see, we're a bit more higher up. And over here, it's also higher up. Right here. I don't care what nobody say. I still like this car right here. This car is the car. Okay, y'all. So, I just left from that spot. And I put it back in regular mode. I will have to say that Macan did a... You know, Porsche. The Macan. In my opinion, I really like it. Because it's super versatile. Uh, you know. I mean, we just did off-roading. So that was cool. That was the first time. Would I do it again? I don't really want to, but thankfully I have the PPF and I plan on like getting a different color because I learned that you can wrap your car and it comes with PPF. Like it's the wrap is PPF, but it's just colored. So yeah, I'm learning different things. I want to get different, you know, rims, tires, all that shabam, you know, because I'm more I'm, a, I'm more of an um accessory person you know what I mean I love accessories dress it up make it real pretty um, so yeah we're gonna take this into but yeah like I was saying I really like how you can like turn this in like it's sporty now I'm not I'm not saying this is the fastest okay another Porsche Taycan all right hey everybody just loves to bring out their Porsches on a weekday why not every day? Por you deserve to drive a Porsche every day. You deserve it. You know what I mean? My experience with the off-road, I liked it mainly because uh, it got me through and through. 
man, really the sense of having PPF got me through and through. But the, uh, the driving is kind of different. Like it takes a little, it takes a little while for it to like change gears for some reason. These are the only things I don't like is the turns. So here's that little straightaway shot. So let's put this thing in, let's see, sport. Oh my God. That little kick of this thing. That little kick to this thing. Okay. We talking now. We talking now. You know, that's a little fun right there. But yeah, like I was saying, my dream Porsche is actually a Dakar. It's just something about off-roading. It's like something about it that makes me, ooh, like, dang, this is too good. You know? It's like... You know how you got a 911, and yeah, you know, 911s are nice, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'm adjusted to like the, like I'm used to the speed now because it's impressive, but it's not like that, that thrill, you know what I mean? Like that first time getting into a Porsche, and it's like you're kind of used to the speed. I'm kind of adjusted now. <laughs> 